everyone, this is Dr. Diana Samsung of mathamtutorial.com. In today's lesson, we are going to graph the equation of the line using the point and its slope. If this is your first time in my channel, do subscribe so that you will be notified for future updates. Enjoy watching! Alright, so let's look at our first example here. We have y is equal to negative x plus 3 and we want to graph it. We want to, yeah, graph the, this line over here. So first, we have to identify what is our m and what is our b, the slope and the y-intercept. Now, from here, the slope is the number multiplied to x. What is that number multiplied to x here if you have negative x? Negative x is simply negative 1 times x, correct? So that means our m is equal to negative 1 and your b is equal to 3, okay? What is the meaning of b equal to 3? That means that your y-intercept is the point 0, 3, okay? That is the point where it intersects your y-axis, okay? So this is your y-intercept. Now, since we have our slope to be equal to negative 1, let us recall that the slope is equal to rise over run. Right? So, we can view negative 1 as negative 1 over 1. So, what does that mean? We will look at the rise as negative 1 and the run is equal to 1. We have a video lesson on slopes regarding this. So, if you want to review that, you can watch that video by simply clicking the um, card above. Okay? So, anyway, let's go back. What is the meaning of rise equal to negative 1? This means that you go down by 1 unit and since our run is positive, that means you go to the right by 1 unit. Now, let us look at our point here. So, this means our rise is negative 1. So, we go down by 1 and go right by 1 unit. So, from here, go down by 1. I'm here and then go to the right by 1 unit. So, my point is here at the point 1, 2. Okay? So, let me just draw that. I am at 1, 2. And then, you just now connect this by a line. So, that's your graph. Okay? So, again, what did I do? Starting from our y-intercept of 3, I went down by 1 and go to the right by 1 because our slope is equal to negative 1. Let's have another example. So in this case, we have y is equal to 2x minus 4. What is our m? Our m is 2 and our b is equal to negative 4, right? So, what is 2? We will view this as 2 over 1. So, our rise will be equal to 2 and our run will be equal to 1, okay? So, rise of 2 means rise of 2 means going up and run of 1 unit, so it's, po it's positive. So, you go to the Right. And where will we start? We start at our y-intercept, negative 4. So you look at the y-axis. Look at the y-axis and this is your negative 4. So start here. And then go up by 2 units. So 1, 2, and then go to the right by 1 unit. So your other point is here. Okay, so at 1, negative 2. So that one. And then you just connect it by a line. Understand? So that's your line. Alright, so for our last example, we want to graph 3x plus 2y is equal to 6. Now take note here that this is not in slope intercept form. What form is this again? 3x plus 2y is equal to 6. This is in standard form. So, what we need to do is to first convert it to slope-intercept form. So, if you want to review on that, I have a video for that. Again, you can click on the card above. Okay? 
So, anyway, let's now put this in slope-intercept form. How? We have to isolate the term involving y. And I want now, therefore, to put 3x on the other side because I want my term involving y to be alone here. So, how will I do that? We subtract 3x on both sides. So, this becomes 2y is equal to 6 minus 3x. And then we divide both sides because I have here 2y. I just want to have y. And 2 is multiplied to y. So we now divide both sides by 2. So we have y is equal to, don't forget we are distributing, 6 over 2 is 3 minus, what's this? 3x over 2. Okay? But we want to write it in such a way that in slope-intercept form, the term involving x comes first. So we write it as negative 3x over 2 plus 3. Clear? Let us now identify our m and b. So from here, class, what is our... Let me just write the slope-intercept form here. We can write negative 3x over 2 as negative 3 over 2x plus 3, right? So that means, let me just erase this so that I have space. So from there, what is my m? My m is negative 3 halves and my b is equal to 3. So this means that Negative 3 over 2, that's rise over run. So we now have your rise is negative 3 and your run is equal to 2. So this means since the rise is negative, you go down. If the run is positive, you go to the right. Okay? So anyway, so where will we start? We start at the, what is our point? Our y-intercept is b is equal to 3. So that means you look at the y-axis and it will intersect the y-axis at 3 because your b is equal to 3. The next, from that point, you go down by 3 units. So 1, 2, 3. And then go to the right by 2 units. 1, 2. So you end up at this point. it and then connect by a line. Alright? Let's check what you have learned from this video lesson. I want you to graph the following. 4x minus 3y is equal to 12. The complete solution to this problem can be found in our website. Uh, look at the link in the description below. Alright? I hope that you learned a lot from watching this video lesson. If you have any questions at all, please write them down on the comment section below and I will give you an answer as soon as I can. If you like this video, please share it and like it. And again, don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel. See you in my next video lesson.